I was a mission pastor in my church, so that I, I was in, responsible to manage uh, and organize a uh, mission conference every year. During one of the mission conference in the church, I stand just behind the congregation, seeing hundreds of people attending the, the events, and we're talking about saving the world, trying to uh, uh, preach the gospel. Just after the refreshment time, and we have all those, I mean, cell phone plates and cups and things that so pile up into the garbage. I just have an image dawn on me. How come we are talking about saving the world, but actually at the same time trashing it? After the event, I went after all those garbage bins and collecting all those styrofoam plates and cups and clean them and then, and then take them to the municipal depot. I've done it for the following nine months, every weekend, after the church and then collecting them. And then as it turned out, I collect all those data and present it to the board of elders. Let them see, okay, every week we have created such a mess. What are we going to do with it? So my design team is called UBC Waste Knots, and I've been part of it for the last three years. It's a design team that focuses on principles of a circular economy, and we manage five different projects that all uh, use a source of waste and turn it into another valuable resource. One of them being turning paper into concrete. Um, another project is looking at recycling textile waste, uh, which is a project that I was really passionate about. That's definitely where I feel like my engineering degree comes into play because I'm, I'm learning a lot about the material properties of different materials materials. Clothing that are blended, such as cotton and polyester, which is a really popular and common blend, oftentimes ends up in the landfill just because of how resource intensive it is to recycle. So now when I'm buying new clothing, I'm definitely more aware of the material that it's made from. And I try to buy uh, clothes that are made from a single material because it's just easier for um, recycling and end of life processes. We often live in a bubble. Everybody's, right? It's fine, I mean, it's our home. But at the same time, out there is much more than just our home. And going there to see, to understand, to appreciate the surrounding, the forest, the garden, the beaches, have a mind of, okay, what kind of tree is it? What kind of bird would that be? The flowers, what are their names? I'm not a birder, but I try to learn, because um, if you have more understanding of your place, then you will be able to love it and to devise some actions or plan or something, even small, small steps. Because that understanding will be the foundation for our love and for our action. A really practical step that I took was starting a minor in urban studies at UBC. And so this minor, I hope to learn more about Vancouver, learn more about our city and the needs and how I can use my degree and use my voice to serve our community and to love our community better. Whatever caring for the world looks like can be different for, for everyone. Um, and for me, that just means living a lifestyle that is honoring to the earth and is honoring to um, the people around me and to, most importantly, to our creator.